What's up? Um, Sarah Safari here with my smaller co-host, Bradley Martin, and we have a very special, our first guest. Special? I thought I fell off. Oh, this we is have, getting good already. Wait, this is getting good, dude. Special. I thought I just had like 12-year-old uh, little dumb fans. We I've never actually seen a dude ever come up to you. Really? Yeah, that was like not 12. That's oh, I remembered when I said that. What about what are you? I'm what, trolling. What, 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 what are you trolling. talking about? I'm trolling you. I'm that's tro- fine. That's fine. <laughs> all I saw, all Basically, Sarah Safari said like, oh, I've only seen him around 11-year-old people. And then my community Dude, said, you're shout twisting out to, it. Shout out to Sneeko Love Speech because they put all these Sneeko. clips of us walking around <laughs> in Vegas and LA. People like 30, 40, people no, like even Brad's age coming up to me, shaking my hand. And she's standing right there looking at it. And then she's on. on a podcast. All his fans are 10 years old. Like, Okay, I did not... No, I didn't fine. say it blatantly like that. Hold on a second. It's different because you pay those people to pull up. Like you give them, I see you. <laughs> At least acknowledge the paid actors. Like yeah, don't... acknowledge the paid actors. Okay, you're right. Please, no, thank I was you. wrong. I'm sorry. Jesus. It's okay. Just, so you have actual adult fans? <laughs> Come on, Brad. I'm f***ing with you. Come on, Brad. Dude, well, he, I don't even yo, know why that's an insult. Like why is that try to, people try to belittle like when you have um, it's not an insult. I don't think it's an insult. Like if you have kid that uh, that's great to resonate well, with the youth. If you could resonate with yeah. the youth, those, those are the most genuine people. Those are the people that have not been corrupted yet and don't have to sell it to cancel culture. It's a fact. Those kids, if, if you are resonating with them, I think it's a, a really positive thing. And I'm happy yeah. that's there. Shout and it's also the it's also the future too. Yeah, right. So but what's with these giant arms in here? I can't even see your faces. Like he the, told yeah. me we're too try hard with our podcast. It is like I What's you know, too try hard? This pod like it's just these giant elbows in the way. Dude, the, Brad the spent seven thousand dollars on this. What's wrong with the road mic? You don't like, like this. I can't see your face. Like, well, this, obviously she's all nervous, and I can't even like use her nervous energy because there's arms in the way. I'll we'll just look so right past it, nervous. dude. Why are you nervous? I don't know. I'm never nervous. Yeah, that's crazy. You act like a baby. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit, dude. What do you have to be nervous about? You scare the shit out of me. How do I scare you? <laughs> like, you, what? What is? Scary? I keep hearing. What? That. No, honestly, what is scary? What? What's scary? Because he just says random shit. Like he just doesn't care. No, because he's so unpredictable. Yes that aspect like you're not scared of homeless people because they're homeless you're scared of homeless people because they're unpredictable you call <laughs> me a homeless no, you see, you, home. you what is twist, dude, that's you crazy twist everything no i see what you're saying yeah though, but that's pretty funny okay so he she like directly related you to homeless a homeless person <laughs> no right. you're not shit. homeless i'm just saying you're unpredictable i'm corrupting the youth and i'm homeless but uh so so what, what we, we wanted to address some things to be honest like um you had like some people come on the podcast and say some stuff i didn't really i saw some clips in my twitter community um yeah. which i, I really like that community sneak a love speech but i'm not really i sure. love the plugs you, you gotta he's, a, he's good he's at the i'm plugs. good I, I do it seamlessly he's good at the plugs. um but there's also there's really pressing issues in the world going on right now too. We can talk about like stupid influencer drama. I'm leading your podcast. Why am I doing the intro? This is your podcast. Well, I, I when we started this, this is not the intro. Honestly, when we started this, before we started this, I told her she was going to be the one in charge. I wrote down some questions. Oh, there we go. Okay, you yeah. did, did some preparation. Yeah. Um. She's so nervous. This is crazy. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Dude, what what's going on here? You guys do look like a gym podcast. We look like we're uh, sitting in the locker room right now. But yeah, go yeah. Okay. So first question that okay. I I had seeing I was I'm in your community and I lurk on that heavy. Yeah. Just FYI. Shout out to Love Speech, man. I love those guys. Okay. Yeah. Anyways, um, what is there beef between you and Aiden? No. There's no beef. There's no beef at all. So why is your name banned in his chat? Happy birthday, Aiden. First off, it's his birthday today. Um, He's so good at deflecting. I'm, I'm I'm still answering her. Happy birthday, Aiden. It's his birthday today, and I'm um, you know sometimes when you. If my name gets spammed in somebody's chat, you can understand, like, see the way you're intimidated and scared by me. Imagine if every time you sat down to do a podcast, you saw a giant scream spamming my name nonstop. You That's know? true. I would, I, I thought about blocking your name in my Instagram comments. Also, so, you know, I also understand. your contact. She was thinking about No, my, my contact's not going anywhere. Oh, yeah. It's not going anywhere. I know. I was trolling on that. Well, that's how you know a girl who loves you. She blocks you. That's how you know? You're yeah. delusional. <laughs> no, a girl, a girl needs to hate you to love you. And you, you hate I me. saw you said that. You were like, if someone keys your car, it means they love you. It is. There's a little bit of truth to that. Yeah. Like if you can get a girl emotional, that. then that's how you know that you really got her heart. Okay. you got. Me. It's better to make her feel something than nothing. You want to get a girl on a roller coaster of up and down emotions. And okay. you got to make sure that she's always, so you being scared is a really good thing. That means uh, it's working and I know what I'm doing, wow. but uh, Aiden, yeah, I can just understand that he's, um, he just wants to have his own community. He's doing his own thing and they're spamming my name. Like, yeah, you know, it makes sense. You don't, you don't want to make it all about me. I don't, but yeah, nice. Guy. I don't think it's that at all. Why are, are you gonna, wearing sunglasses? I'm him. Are you high? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yo, yo, no, say no, no. I'm not high. I'm that guy. Like, I don't need oh to. Oh, my God, no, bro. Sorry. Take those glasses off, this man. Is, this is a. Uh, yeah, I want to see your eyes. Yeah, see your eyes, dude. I'm trying to hide. I'm not high. No, just oh, okay. leave them off. Yeah. I, I, okay, I'm a really handsome guy. Like, I have good looking eyes today, right? Wow. 
I'm this in a good is... mood. I can tell. Yeah. Do you take some before this? I don't. I did not. Did I? You saw me. I, I had a, a cup of coffee. That's it. That's it. Yeah. Wow. Okay. There's all the questions. I'm trying to. Uh, no, no. She's you guys are low more. energy for a podcast. This is why no, podcasts are ass. Like it's just like what? we're sitting here. Their legs See, are crossed. Is, you look what's interesting. Look what's interesting. You're interesting. plugging everything. It's well, like you got. Then this why are you live streaming it if it's ass? Because take it's it way off. more entertaining. Turn when your it's camera off. Turn your camera off if it's ass. Oh, there we go. There. That's that's what. That's I wanted. what you were looking for. I got for. it out of her. There we go. Okay. Yeah. Cook. 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 What else you got? <laughs> Can we go back to the the Aiden Bannon? My name from the chat. Yeah, yeah, I have some more. Yeah, what, yeah, like why? Okay, why? Next, now let's bring it back. See, we can go up and down. We can go all the way. Okay, why? Next. Why? Well, why would? Why do you th do you think that like you would you guys would have beef because Ooh. like you and Aiden because like you're like beef? your IRL going like that? Nah, nah, nah. Because like when you guys are doing the boxing stuff, like maybe he, he wanted to box you and you, didn't want, and you didn't want to box him. What? That's what I heard. What no, are you I feel about? like yeah. there's. There, I don't know if there's. Beef, maybe subconsciously for one or the other party. It's but. not beef. It's just, like, I mean, there's a competitive nature. Like you can like yes. somebody yeah, and then yeah. also it's like when you see athletes or you see like fighters, they'll, they'll talk shit about each other. They'll talk about each other's moms and their girlfriends on Twitter. And then they see each other behind the fights and they're just shaking each other's hands. What about you and Neon? That's my guy. Is there any, any competitive? Not at there? all. That's why, that's why we work well together because I have no jealousy. And like he's by far number one probably right now. Um, I'm number you, one on Rumble, but you know, you even if he continues to surpass me and he goes to different levels, I would not feel like any type of like emptiness. Or when you say number one, you mean number one, like as number one, like a number one streamer. Yeah. I think it, I think for the past uh, two weeks, he's number one English uh, speaking streamer in the world. Really? Yeah. And then the week before I was number one English, even over Kai, like number wise uh, for, for like a, a week or two. Yeah. Okay. So if you, if you just look at that, if you look pretty short term, which, you know, TikTok brain people, they can't really see past a week or two. They think that that's a, that's 10 years. So yeah. for him, yeah, number one. So what's your actual perspective on the Sam thing? Like in the, the you know, everyone's like just Myron, they're doing the podcast, they're talking about him, her using him. But I think there's a, there's still a benefit both ways there. You, you know, mean? like the Sam thing, the whole Sam thing and the relationship and how people are trying to say like, she's using him, blah, blah, blah. Like, what, what do you think about that? What's your perspective on it? I mean, they're using each other. Um, yeah. Girls are really valuable to have on stream. Obviously, Sarah knows that it's, uh, it's, it's very helpful for content, if especially if there's good chemistry. And they, I think that there's some sort of genuine connection, but it's also like you're, you're profiting off of each other. It's just a weird relationship because it's a pretty much always live. I was telling Brad, like realize. regardless, if you spend three weeks with someone, you grow, you grow a bond with them, you grow to like them to some extent. Yeah, I think they're getting used to each other. But yeah. same thing, I mean, women are opportunistic people. They, women, we're only like you for what you could provide for them. I think that men could actually like see someone's character and be like, yo, I'd like a with you. But girls, just, they will only see like how much water can they take from your well. And if that well dries up, they're going to leave. They're yeah, going to go to another that. one. Yeah, you said that. You said that on your that's what it, that's the nature. That's the nature of, of women. So I don't think you could ever take it as like, oh, she actually cares about me or she, she's around. She would not be around in the first place if I wasn't, <clears throat> if I wasn't number one. So you can't think that this is ever going to be genuine. Do you, the only woman that's going to love you is your mom. Do you, do you think that there's some, some degree to that not being true where if someone is like in love or spends enough time with you that at a certain point they could still grow to like love your character or you think just women in general is just like that you either have something that they can get or not? They, they, they just take. Women are designed to take from you. Do you think that's true, Bradley? 100%. You think you'd be sitting down here if Brad wasn't like the number one gym influencer? In the beginning, I hit him up because he had clout, but now I've grown to love him as a person. There you go. But it's like to get within the door, like he still had to become who he is. Yeah. No, yes, I understand what course, you're saying. Of course. But I'm saying past that, now if everything was taken from him and he had nothing, like I love him as a human being. I think she'd still help me. I would st – like if he had nothing, I That's would what I'm asking. send him money monthly. Like I genuinely care for him. Hmm. That's what I'm asking. Do you think that regardless, like regardless, like off camera, we text constantly checking in on each other. I care like, about him and his feelings and everything. Like, do you think there's like a level where you can grow with someone regardless of what you can give them that like, cause we're just saying in this case, we're talking about women. Like, I do believe that if I had nothing, I don't think she would pay for my lifestyle or anything like that. If I was like losing, no, no she wouldn't, not, she would, she would give you five, 10 K a month and pretty yeah. much because you made her career. So it's kind of like paying it back and like, I owe you, but not because she, she would start to like loathe and be disgusted by your presence. If you were crawling around on the streets, like doing, she's not actually going to be like, Oh, I love Brad. Well, it's, if you it's started doing drugs, yes, but I don't think he's like nah, that either. I, <laughs> I don't think. Well, that's what that. happens when somebody becomes down bad and loses their entire empire. Like they either lose it to a female, they lose it to or they gambled it away. And if it's one of those three, you're just gonna become disgusted by him because the reason that you like Brad right now is because like, look at the, look at the man he is. But you, women don't care about what it takes to build you up to that point. 
There's a lot of work that goes into that. There's a lot of sleepless nights, all nighters. Like Brad's like getting flashbacks right now. I see it in his eyes. <laughs> he's he's getting PTSD of like the years yeah. and years of hard work. Women never really appreciate that, but men can understand that because men know what it takes to get to that point. I can't even argue with that. I can't argue with it. That's so basically, a, that's a fact. Um, yeah, that's a fact. So. But the, I, I, I think you can meet some people that you can develop genuine connections with. They're like, they wouldn't just like completely forego you if you had nothing to give them continuously. With a woman? Yeah, I think so. I don't know about like, I don't know about in the way like if sexually or anything like that. No, I think like they'll probably remove you from their life in that way. But I, I think they could give you something, maybe not like money. Like even if, I don't think they'd just be like, yo, if I lost everything, I don't think she'd be like, I'm never talking to that person again, you know? Do you think so? Yeah, I don't think so. I think it would just slowly fade, and then it would never, you would never see each other again. Interesting. Basically, women are bad people. Damn. No, they're good people. <clears throat> that we need to protect women, of course, and they have they have good souls. But they're they're they're, you know, they're with, without men, uh, women. Do you, do you ever have no souls? Just, oh my god. They, they need do they you, need they need men for souls. Do you ever think you cross the line with some things? Uh, what would I say that cross the line? No, I'm asking you. I'm asking you in general. 100. percent That's why I'm banned. And like they, they, people are talking about my my relevancy and like, oh well, he's not gonna last in this game. Like I've been banned for over a year. I've been banned on YouTube for over a year. Say so she was looking away. She's like getting nervous and stuff. But like you realize that too. When when I first talked to you on, on your podcast, it was uh it was like a month before I was getting banned. And now they're saying like it's just a blow up now. But doing I've been I put in the hours, man. I put in I the put in a long time. And now to get to the point where you know I'm, I get to be cocky enough to be like, hey, number one on Rumble, what's up? But you're so, talking and about, they don't even talk about the fact that I'm like silence off. Most, they post my clips on TikTok, gets taken down for hate speech and all this garbage. Like they will always find a reason to censor me. And I'm still here. I'm still surviving. I'm like that cockroach. You can't stomp out. And then, you know, <laughs> I'm really him, man. I'm him. That's why I got the sunglasses on today, man. I'm just, I'm, I'm, I really did that, man. I really did that. You're so funny to me. Yeah, so you're talking about the, you're talking about the Mike thing, but Mike, I didn't think Mike, dis Mike may like, he didn't like disrespect you. Like as if you didn't have relevancy or you wouldn't have it for time. I think he was just talking about the concept of the come up of a lot of people and being able to maintain the relevancy. And the difference with you, I think, is you, you know, you've been doing YouTube for, you did YouTube for fucking 100 years. Okay. You were a kid. A decade. And then, like, guys like, um, you know, older influencers will sit down and they'll try to become, like, act like they're better than what's going on in the streaming world and say, like, oh, well, I'm, like, looking at Israel and Palestine. Like, well, then what's your stance? People don't even take a specific stance. They don't even have any... They don't say anything. There's people, if you want to be successful in this game and the podcast and the streaming, if you want to like talk for a living, never have any strong opinions about anything. Don't say, just always sit on the fence. Don't ever say how many genders there are. Don't say who you're going to vote for for president. Don't say who's right or wrong for uh, Israel, Palestine. Ne just like kind of graze the line and like I, you know talk what I, about things, but never for things. The, here's, here's my take on it. The reason why I kind of disagree um, is because your brand is like your whole perspective on things and the way you speak and the way you talk about things is disruptive. And it's not a, it's not a bad thing. It's a good thing. Some people like for me, I don't like getting so in the mud and all these po political things because I, I think there's a large part of it that just goes in circles no matter what. Like if you believe this, someone else believes that it's just a constant battle. And like, I feel like you have this sense of, I need to make other people agree with me just more than me. Like, I don't feel like I, I have the need to go like, I need to make people believe what I believe because they have to believe what I believe because it's right. Because the reality is in life, everyone, like people on the other side, people on this, everyone believes that what they're saying is right. Right. You believe what you're saying is right. They believe what they're saying is right for all their own reasons. I don't think that's whole, true. I think a lot of influencers. It's not about not being true. This is a fact. So I'm, it's not even an opinion. I'm telling you right now that there's people who grew up somewhere else and they believe something else because they lived a certain life and their life led them to that decision. And they believe that because that's everything they know. So they say, this is how I feel. And you're on the other side saying, this is how I feel. It's not an opinion. This is a fact. Well, so the reason why I don't get in the mud is because I, I can't tell someone who lived a whole nother life how 18, 20, 30 you years can't force to say, someone to believe anything. Yeah, so no, I agree. I, I see your perspective, but I'm, I'm saying a lot of influencers will like see something like Israel Palestine and then they'll they'll call their manager to see like what opinion they're supposed to have. Or an mm -hmm. actor, for example, they'll, they'll think like, what should I post on my Instagram story? Like, what do I have to believe about that? But I think that's why like Brad and I stay silent about it because we are just maybe not educated enough about it or whatever, and we don't want to put something I'm not out there. That's, I'm not. I'm not. Yeah. Say, I'm not saying you guys. I'm saying like um, th that guy who was like uh, talking, saying that I'm gonna fall off. Like th they'll they'll come on this like moral high ground of, oh, I'm gonna talk about the serious issues. Like I'm not paying attention to stream, and then they they don't ever like 
have any hard stance about something. And it, it's not that I, I want people, I, I want to force people to believe what I believe. The annoying part is when I could tell people don't even, they, they can't say what they really believe because they, they have all these blockades in their brain about what they're supposed to think or like what brand deal they're going to lose, how they're going to offend their manager. Am I going to get debanked? What am I supposed to say so that I could continue my career? It's not like they even have beliefs. It's everything goes through a filter of like, how can I make the most money before they even say it? I, I understand what you're saying. I do. I, I don't think it's the same for everyone though. I think some people just don't speak on it because like, they don't know what to say that's going to be actually beneficial to the situation. Like if I said, I stand here, I stand there. Like I, I don't have enough to say that. I don't, I don't know enough to say one of those things. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of stuff that I will speak on that I will be like, I really feel this because I feel this. I'm, I, I'm not targeting you guys by saying yeah. it, by the way. Like, no, yeah. no, no. And, I'm, and, I, and I understand that. I'm not saying you are, but I'm also saying I'm speaking for all those other people that we're directing this towards. I think some people just don't know exactly how to approach certain situations because like they're not in it. Like if I was from Israel and I lived in Israel, if I was from, from Palestine and I, and I experienced this, I could speak from a very real place. Right. But I'm, I'm a influencer in LA. I grew up in San Francisco. Like I didn't live, I don't walk in those people's shoes. So for me to come out and be like, this is right. And this is, that's another thing that I kind of dislike is because a lot of people use these times to like elevate or to press like these certain issues so that more people are like, yeah, I like you. And it's like, mm. so then who's doing like, Mayweather comes out, says support Israel, right? Whatever. And it's like, are we doing these things? Cause like we, we feel like there's a power I can get here or there. And it's like leveraging your following. So, yeah. And it, it's, I think there's some, sometimes at the same time, there are people who do things because they know that they can get some sort of like hurrah from their audience or from their crowd. When in reality, are they really standing by those things that they're, they're getting hurrahed about? Or they know that they're going to get people to go, yeah, that's fucking cool. So there is a there is a double standard standard to this. Oh my god! I think Logan's one else. Yo, so, you got this. Be safe. I'm gonna be right here. Sarah, I'm be in alone at last. Hey. There we go. Now I can see you. Finally, he's gone. Okay, finally. I know. No, do you mm. think you cooked me a little too hard? I could smell you from here. What the? F <laughs> ah, Sarah. Did I cook you too hard? Um. Okay. So you wanted okay, me to apologize like for something? Be, can you like be nice? I didn't want you. You said you would. You were like, that's how I'm going to start it off. You were like, this is how I'm going to start off my live stream, Sarah. I'm going to apologize. Okay. I think I do, uh, you know, I, I care about your feelings. So I want to, but I want to like, what, what do you think that I should apologize for before I do? I think giving me a train voice and going so hard and being like, she'll compare her to your dick size. Okay. <laughs> I think that was. That's worth an apology? Okay, I'm not forcing you to apologize. No, you no, no. Only I'm, I'm saying, but I'm, I'm, I'm trying to, to see. I'm, I want to see like why you think I should apologize. Because you told me on the phone, you're like, Sarah, I'm really looking for a reason to apologize, and I can't seem to find one. I and it's it's not convincing me. Like jokes. Okay, okay, that's fine. Don't apologize. Yeah, but he, oh, actually, you know what? I'm sorry for. I I am. Don't. It's fine. I am sorry for hurting your feelings. Is that a bad apology? I pro okay, you know what? I I could have I could have dialed it back more because you are. I could have dialed it. No, back because more. it's funny because you go on and you roast me, but then you beg Brad's ass to convince me to show up places. Uh oh, it's getting real in here. Okay. Like it's just it makes no sense. Okay. How are you gonna roast me, but then beg him to have me in your? Shit? Roasting. It's a little. Everybody roasts everybody. That's fine. I get it. Roast me and then move on. But then you dragged on the manly voice for twenty you got minutes. Mad. You, I can tell you got her mad. <laughs> I should have did. Wait, so five minutes of roasting? No, so I'm mad. saying you make a joke and then you move on from the joke. You make another joke. You make another joke. But you drag that on to the point that like I thought it was unjustified when clearly you want me in your content. Mm. So why did you have to go that hard? Because it's just if you joke. care If you care about my feelings. I do. Yeah, you made her mad. I did. You should apologize. If you care about my feelings. Oh, he did? No, he, no, he said, said, I'm sorry I hurt your feelings. Okay. What, what, is that oh, that's right? such a bad yeah, apology. That's a, good, that's a good apology, right? Wait, what, what, what is he supposed to say? That's a, that's a, I'm sorry, no? I'm sorry I hurt your feelings, but he still doesn't see that what he did was, was maybe wrong? not the best. Was it wrong? I mean, it wasn't wrong by any means, but it wasn't also the best. If you were planning to come back to LA and wanting me in your content, I don't think it was the best. Well, you could also just see it for what it is. You know, it's just, you know, some jokes. Bradley. <laughs> Mediate this. What do you think? Okay, so this is about which part of the jokes? Which I part? said the manly voice okay, thing yeah, was f***ed up. Making a manly voice is f***ed up? Well, because it's personal. Just because That's I... That's not personal. 
Bro, it's everything I've worked. She doesn't have a manly voice. Look at her. She's all shrill, arguing like a girl right now. But it's it's a personal. uh, It's a personal like attack. It's a silly word to use, but it's it's not like talking about the things she said about you or the reaction that you're having. That would have been personal. Manly voice is just like a gym girl overall. No, what would have been personal? Like if she says. Uh, you're saying, oh, I made you, but you're saying, no, I'm, I'm here. I did this. Or I'm well, like more popular, whatever. That's not personal. That's like statistical and that's outside. Right now we're talking about her voice as a person and saying like, this is a personal attack. That's, that's, per- that's yes. what I'm saying. Like pulling up the like stats or whatever. And I've said this, you're culturally relevant. That's, I'm not arguing against that. You have clout. Said all my, all my fans are kids. Huh? Then you said all my See, Don't try to change the subject <laughs> right now. We right talked about it. that at the beginning. Okay. And now you're trying to avoid the situation. Kids? I thought they were all kids. Come on, man. And she said she hasn't seen anybody over the age of 21 come up to me. And it's like, what are you talking about? Well, you said that word for word. She didn't say I did not say that. Bar he just, he, t- he takes no. it and he changes it up to make it I thought like Mike some was narrative. Saying that. And then you, she, you agreed. No, I stuttered for so long. I was like, I really don't remember. All I was thinking about was those two kids in the tuxedos coming up to you in Vegas. Those are the only, that was the only encounter I remember. This is tough right now. I'm like, I feel like I'm watching like a. This is couples therapy. Yeah, dude. No, this is no, good. You I'm guys need this. It, when it comes down Sarah, to it. No, when it comes down to it, if just, you want me in your content, out. you have to respect me. Let's hug it out. No. Well, you have you, to respect Can you it. acknowledge the shit I'm saying? I'm acknowledging it. Well, this is then nice. Then say something back. To what? If you beg to have me in your content. Beg? You need to respond. Brad. You do ask for her to be in your content a lot. Ask. Yeah. Let's hug it out. It's not hugging it out. Address what I'm saying. Say something back. You're the one on the fence now. What do you want me to say? Like, address what? <laughs> what do you want me like, to say? Just wh- why? What was the reason for it? What was the reason for making jokes? Is that what, is that what, ask me something specific and I'll answer it. You look good, man. I'm him. <laughs> no, no. I, see, see, I, I, I get the glasses now. I feel like I'm him now. Really? Yeah. Try, try it here. Try it out. Try it out. Or, or I'd be him, right? Cause yeah, I'm a tra- yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you kind of look like you kind of look like him right now. That's crazy. If you want to ride that fucking joke, you just lost to rock your athlete. No, <laughs> I'm saying you look like him. Like you look like him for Why sure. Why are you pressing everybody? I'm not sure. Like you're pressing, but I'm not sure what you want me to. Like, what are you? What are you saying? I think you just gotta say sorry. For what? You know the voice thing, man. You did go hard. You went hard, dude. Sorry for no, making a voice. I don't want an apology, but what I do want okay, is don't that wanna, if okay. what I do want is <laughs> here we go. Um, that relieved him so much. Yeah, I don't I care know, about I the know. apology. You no, don't... no, but fin- finish. I'm interrupting you. Um, if you want me in your content, there needs to be respect. I don't. You can treat whoever else however you want, but if you want me in your content, there needs to be respect. You need to respect my time, first of all. You can't just snap your fingers and expect me to be there. I can't even do that. Can't Brad can't that. even do yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to respect my time. You have to respect me as a person, mm. me working out. I'm 125 pounds lean. I, it's not like I'm this huge 260-pound man. Right. Like you're making Wait, what does it that have seem, to do with anything? I don't know. Yeah, made, let, let it, she's going, she's going. Okay. Keep going. Keep, let it out, let it, it out. It like I was like some kind of like this huge person. I'm small. I know, small. and you're clearly small. That's why it's a joke. Like, I don't know why you're offended about that. But keep going, keep going. Sensitive, dude. I know, I know. So, yeah, and it she's would have a been a joke if there was no cameras, but the way that your audience takes it is different. They knew it was a joke. I don't think they knew it was a joke. Because I, I got a bunch of tranny things. They tranny were going hard on her. Jokes. Yeah, they were. Okay, uh, guys, it was a joke. Sarah's not. <laughs> Dude. She's not. Tr- what else do you, we do you clear respect up? me? Do you like me as a I person? Do. I do respect you and I do like you. Genuinely. Genuinely, you do. Wallahi. Or is it just for content? I genuinely like and respect you. Okay. These are the questions I was going to ask. You're doing good right now. Okay. Seriously. I'm That's good. She's putting me on this. She pressed me about that. I do. That's good. I think we should hug it out. <laughs> I don't no, think we need to make this. No. Sure. It's not sexual. We could do like a brother. I'll lean in, crotch I'll back. I'll dab you up at the end of this podcast because we. But, we're okay, you just there. beat the <laughs> allegations. You're gonna dab me up, dude. <laughs> why do you? Why do you associate dabbing someone up with transgender, transgenderism or whatever? Like what? That's what Caitlyn Jenner would do. My dude, you're fucking hilarious. He goes, I'll lean in, I'll crotch. Back. I, I'll do crotch back. We could do it like old, like cousins. We'll no, do, no, we'll, no. We'll do the cut, like just the. Dude, can we do that? Let's let's move on, Sarah. Let's move on. You got this. You got this. Yeah, You're I'm good. good. I do. I do actually like that. Um, how you do put respect first, and how important that is for you, because a lot of girls don't have any self respect. They don't care about that. But I think Thank everyone you. knows I, I do like and respect you. Okay, that'd be. I, I mean, yeah. I, I mean, 
Okay, help me out right you here. Say, this is one no, I, I'm no, asking you to no, lay up right no, now. No, Sneeko, you say it. I just want your actions to showcase that. What have I done that doesn't show that? At Zoo Culture, you try to grab me by the... And then you said... I didn't even get close. Whoa, oh, I, I just, that I, happened? I didn't see that. <laughs> Whoa, what the... Yeah. Come on. You know I love Trump. I was just trying to... Just a little... I didn't even go in all the way. Whoa. Holy shit. I didn't crazy. go in all the way. I didn't know that even happened. That's crazy. That no, was so long ago. I'm just saying ago. like things like... The, just fucking swing week. on him. She has. She's punched me many times. Just swing on him. Yeah. No, I understand. And I make jokes and I disrespect you too. And you can... Like, it's not that. It's just like there's a line. I feel like we shouldn't be crossing the line for me to feel comfortable. I won't grab by the... Anymore. Wow. That's good. That's good. You guys That's are making progress. Oh, thank God. Sorry. You guys are making progress. Right I now. won't do that. That's amazing. Well, lie here. I'm not grabbing by the. So, see, that's good. Okay. So, what the way I, the, it's interesting to me because I look at this, I'm like, man, how can we like be like a happy, you know, like a whole happy family? Because where, I, where do I, I fit do in like, for mommy, daddy in the family here? Um, you can be the creepy uncle. Oh man, yeah, kind of an <laughs> uncle, kind of an uncle. But I do like. I, I'm telling you, I do like the dynamic. I do like filming the content, and I, I we were talking about this on the phone the other day. Um, the streaming in general, the whole game and how it's like evolving and changing. It's fun doing it with people that, you know, it feels like a fucking, it feels like a fucking TV show. It feels it's like a reality show. That's how the most successful group of people usually, it's a group. Everyone has their own character or whatever. It feels really good. I like it. Oh, wait, we had questions on the, uh, we had, yeah, hold on. We got some questions. Wait, I have some more questions too. Okay. No, this one is actually important. Oh, okay. Wait, how was the Fresh and Fit podcast? Which one? The one you did, like when you were ago. yelling at girls about being. Home. I, I that's think that's every was... week. I do that. Oh, that's we got to talk. So, oh, I know what you're gonna go into. So the whole the the whole Mike <laughs> thing and the only girl thing and you and the only girl thing. Okay, you never got to re like you you kind of talked to me about it, but it felt like you kind of avoided it. Okay, you don't think it's the same thing? Like do you because like your justification is that because you say they're in the content that you're not leveraging the same women. Yeah, there's a difference between promoting it and saying actively, like, this is bad. This is destroying the souls of men. It's the worst thing for society. And I understand that it is, like, it is a funnel, too. But at that point, it still exists on your phone. Everybody has access to their phone. You're only a couple of keystrokes away. But that's from a cop out. That's a it's cop not out. a cop out. It is because some of those kids probably didn't know about the girls. What the important on. thing is knowing what the influencers, what they believe in, and what they're endorsing. Guys like that were actively promoting it and actively saying, like, yeah, this is good. This is dope. You should go click this link and I'll get. To... There, there's some people who are saying that this is good, that like, because you can get a nut. And there's me actively saying, you shouldn't do this. You should harvest your energy. You should become stronger every single day. You shouldn't jerk off. This is a bad profession. But these people still exist and we could talk to them. We're in LA. Like one in five influencers does, does some type of sex work. Like that's just what it is. So if you're here, you're going to be around it. And then for the viewer, you can decide whether or not to watch it. Okay. Right. And I'm saying actively, no, I'm completely against this. Is it like a little hypocrite? Should we have gone to the hot tub? Probably not. Probably like the hot tub is where I was like, okay, all right. That was a little. Cause you know what you're doing, right? It's like the, regardless of. Yeah, the no, the hot tub, the hot tub is much, but I've been on fresh and fit for every week for like over a year, uh, almost a year and a half. And it's the same thing. We're on a panel full of 10 girls and they're all, sex, I mean, not always, but a lot of sex workers. And we're basically debating. We're going back and forth. The same thing when I'm at the end of the stream with these girls in LA, just because they have more clout. People are like, oh my God, you switched up. Am I? I did the same exact questions, the same exact stance, the same point of view that I've had for a year and a half. It's just now we're in a house instead of on a table. No, but so the, you, I'm not saying you're wrong for doing anything. Cause like I've made content with tons of women only like I even like do everything in those industries. Like the difference is when you sit and you say, this person doing it is wrong, but me doing it is okay because I say these things. It's like the reality is, I, I agree with what you're saying. And, and I think even if we're talking about Mike, he even talked the other day when he was on the pod about his stance on all this stuff has changed. He even said he even promoted not watching porn and he stopped watching porn and whether or not this is true or not, whatever. But the point is- Oh, it's good. I never heard him say that. Because every, he like every time I ask like something him specific, like how many genders are there, he's like, oh, I don't want to hurt people's feelings. He, like, he, he just said that on the pod. But my point is, it's not so much about these details. It's about the fact that like, you're, you're differentiating yourself from these people because you're actively saying like, this is bad. But the reality is there's still kids who are going to watch it and go, oh, but I still might want to see that in, in relationship to your content, just because you're making it visibly like there. So like there is like to say, oh, he's doing it and the way he's doing it is wrong, but I could do it because I say these things like regardless, you're still promoting it because it's still in the atmosphere. It's still in the circle. Like you're still leveraging the people for the content. So you're still using them as leverage points for get to get people in to come watch your content. And then it's interesting though, because now that I'm thinking about it, as I'm saying it, 
maybe it is a better thing because then you have the opportunity to, to undermine it in the same content. That's but, what I think. That, that's my uh, but, justification. But, but. but you don't. Yeah, the difference is, though, like people are going to make their decisions regardless based, based on what they see. Right. Like like you just said. So if they're going to show up and they're going to see the, that is going to know, oh, maybe I didn't know about Skybeer. I didn't know about this girl or that girl who does the thing, whatever. Right. So they're still going to go and find out. And if they want to do it, find out more like whether or not you say it in your stream, you shouldn't do this or not. It's still going to be like, oh, well, I'm, you know, you're still promoting it in a sense. It's not directly. Yeah. What I really think is important is, is your point of view. And I, I know like we were talking about this earlier saying that you shouldn't have a clear stance because blah, blah, blah. But ultimately, like they call us influencers. So they, you look at your character, what you believe in, and then you can, that's pretty much what your audience takes from you. So like a lot of girls and guys will see like, oh yeah, you're motivational. Like you have self-respect, you're hitting the gym. Like you're a good, a lot of people call you a good role model. Same thing. They see you like you're the guy in the gym. You have different business, stuff like that. You still open it during COVID and you have a good podcast. You're open-minded, yeah. critical thinking. That's what people take ultimately from you. They see me, I'm talking about like, I, I talk about geopolitical issues, but also I'm against they know what my stance is. I like I'm for traditional relationships. I think that a lot of things in, in LA and the social media scene are are demonic and I talk about Satanism quite a bit. Like they they know my stance. I just think you should follow God, hit the gym every day. And I'm around these people and ultimately I, what I think is really important is what you stand for. Can I is it hypocritical like to be in a hot tub like after promoting all this thing? Yes. Yes. But what's really the ultimately important thing is, is what you believe in. And if I'm telling you every single day, I repeat these mantras, every single stream, I start by saying, do not watch, do not fold. And even every day in my stream, I'll tell people like spam L if you watch. And then I like, I'll call people's name is out individually just because they jerked off because I know how powerful it is to not do that yeah. and to keep your mind focused. Yeah. I legit don't do it. And I, and I think it's a great thing to speak more about. So, I mean, I'm not disagreeing with that aspect of it. I'm just talking about the whole idea of when we're attacking or talking about other influencers and just saying, measuring your level of like dedication to that versus like their you know promotion of that right. you know that's all i'm just discussing you know it's wild mia khalifa former star I she just that. lost playboy magazine because she said free palestine i saw that it's not wild but all the people saying like pro did they lose anything did floyd mayweather like he's floyd money <clears throat> way mayweather like did he lose any sponsors did he lose any brand deals is he going to be? no I don't think so. But she also, she posted some, because did you watch, did you see the post that she posted? Like no, she posted saying? like some, like some dude shooting at like a car though. Like it was like, what? what she, post, she posted a video of Hamas. I mean, I, I don't know. I don't, I don't it was. support it was Hamas. a bunch of people in a car shooting at like a, look like what would have been a, maybe like an Israeli, like police car and like a bunch of people shooting at it. Like she said, this should, this should be a painting or some shit. It's like, oh, that's a little weird. It's just, yeah. It's like, what? Like, cause yeah. it's still promote at the end of the day. Like that's, it's still like violence is good, which is at the end of the day, right. the whole thing is like, that's violence not good. Is, I'm, I'm against violence and everything. Yeah. Support. But how funny is it that we're in uh, are laying in on geopolitical issues? Like we, we care about her stance. About yeah. Well, uh, remember when she talked war. about marriage? When she was the one who was talking about marriage yeah, and like saying you should divorce. Yeah. What the f I remember seeing that this being like, wild. why are we, why are well, you I feel like a lot of only girls always say it's empowering. Like they feel empowered. Well, well that's the whole. Like, workers always love to say it's empowering to divorce your husband and no work, they doing money. the actions of whatever only or whatever they say that it's empowering so maybe they thought you know divorce your husband empowerment yeah they shouldn't speak <laughs> wow <laughs> ever i mean no it's just like well, uh, for sure. don't speak ever just don't talk don't talk oh my god just so when i whenever we speak about all this stuff whenever i talk about this i'm always so curious like i even talk to mike about it like do you think I got a lot of free clout today, huh? What's that? Huh? You have a lot of clout, this guy. What? what? You say saying his name quite a bit. Sorry, I'm just oh, saying. Oh, you've I been just avoiding have... saying his yeah, name. Yeah, he said that guy. He said it a few times already, and I noticed that. I wasn't going to call that out, but it doesn't matter. It's irrelevant. The point is, the thing that I'm talking about is like, like all him. these. Yeah. What? Like he's irrelevant. Like, it's a, like him. No, I said the whole thing. <laughs> it's irrelevant. It doesn't matter the name. It doesn't matter the person. Right, right. Um, dude, you're funny. The way you shoot shots is comedy. I can't lie. Yeah. Dude, you should wear these. I'm You're him. him. Dude, I'm him. him. No, I'm don't him. wear them. I like. Uh, no, he's go ahead, go ahead. You're him too. <sighs> no, I'm saying. Well, let's, let's do the hug. Let's do the hug. Come on. Good. Shoulder hug. Ready, ready, Brad? This is not going to interrupt. This is what I'm saying. Okay, there we go. Oh, good? The beef is done. The beef is done. This is what I like to see. Um. 
Thank you. Uh, that was. That what, how, wait, Chad, how else did Sarah diss me before? Like we squashed the beef. Wait, what she, the? She said some other stuff. Let, like let's behind. bring it back. Let's bring this out. Just, no, no, ask Chad for real. We just I'm hashed curious. it out. Yeah, Chad, what else did she say? That's fine. It's fine. We hashed it out. I, water under the bridge. I don't care. Where, where, where are you seeing Blueface today at? Um, your gym? Can we? <laughs> really? Can we do that there? Yeah, it's fine. He's been there a few times. Okay. I um, told I told Sneeko you and Blueface are cool. Yeah, yeah, he's good. Okay. Yeah, yeah. we're gonna go there and then I think we're gonna go to the studio. I wanted to go shoot some guns, but I think he's a felon, so oh, yeah, he can't do that. <laughs> yeah, he so can't be around with firearms. It would be so fun to like. I really want to go to the gun range with the with the crip. I just think it's, you know, well, he's just holding Which it sideways. Range you go? The one out, the outdoor one over here. I, we're not anymore. I don't even know where we're gonna go. So what's the plan? You wanted to do um, the camping thing. I'm trying to get Steve to come out here. I think we should do that. Um, we could do that tonight. It would be great. Camping where? Uh, yeah, you want to come? I can't. I have class still. Oh, okay. Is she going to say I'm begging her to be on the stream? No, I I'm it's not. Fine. Uh, no. We should go camping. Like We should get an RV, get some marshmallows, get some belly dancers. You know, Belly time. dancers? Yeah. What do you mean get belly dancers? Have them come out and camp with us? Um, they can leave when they're done. I don't mm. want to talk to them. What like belly dancers? Like... What do you mean? I would just want like a hula hoop and fire and like they're di belly dancing. It's just mm. cool. He has this whole vision. That I know. Isn't that to... dope? Like we're just sitting like eating marshmallows and we have some dancers do the thing. Like spinning fire? Or yeah, like... yeah, yeah, yeah. Where are you guys going to do it? Malibu? Uh, I think like... Joshua Tree, Malibu. Like, oh, we got Joshua, Joshua yeah. Tree. I Joshua that's Tree. Yeah, that's some, some LA activity. That's like two hours away. You got to plan oh, for that. I know that's what, we're, that's what we're doing right now, even though we're on a podcast, we're planning more content. This is yeah. what it is. Honestly, now. I haven't been camping in a while. I'd love to go camping. Go. Yeah, you should come. Yeah, just. Fuck class. There's no wife. Why is she still in school? This is what's really this pissing is my me last, off. This is, is my last week. This is my this last is week. Okay. And you know why. I know. I'll, actually, you I'm, I'm going to press you on this right now because you pressed me earlier. Okay. Why are you still in school, Sarah? We've talked about this. Well, she's almost done. I'm I know, done but like, but this why, week. You should drop out now. Today. I'm done in two. I it doesn't one matter. More class. That's how irrelevant school is. You should drop out now. Like the fact that they're taking three more days of your time is stupid. Why? What do you expect to do with your degree? I well, hope she's to, so close. You really think she shouldn't finish? I she hope should've. to not be beefing with like you on Twitter for the rest of my goddamn life. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. That's, That's better than working at a bank. Like, what, what do you want to do? No, I don't want to work at a bank, but like one of the companies, maybe raw gear on hire. the back end. I'd, I'd do something. Raw gear on the back end? Do on you, the back end. Would she need a degree to work on the back so, end of raw gear? So here's what's interesting. I, if you asked me this years ago, maybe. when I started, Before, I would have I said no. But I've actually learned over all my years of, of like working through this business and this process is that I've actually trusted the wrong people to be a part of my businesses because like they were like friends or they were people that I was like, okay, we can teach you how to do this. And they, I actually found myself in a worse off situation because I wasn't trying to find people who were like really actually like, uh, what's, what's, what's the right word here? Not disciplined, just people who are actually built for that position. Like I've hired people who aren't graduates, people who aren't. You know, and I, and like the, the only thing I realized that, that really works with is creatives, like, like, uh, videographers, editors, people who can like learn like this process. And, but as far as like administration and all this stuff, I've hired the wrong people and like would teach as much as I know, but then they only knew as much as I knew. Mm -hmm. So then I find myself in situations where like, if they didn't know how to deal with anything, it was just me dealing with it. And yeah. I was just doing people's jobs. So you want to work in business administration? Yeah, that's my. I'm getting my master's in business administration, whether it's something like raw gear or like UFC, like the connections that I've made while doing social media, I'd love to work on the back end without having to promote code Sarah for the rest of my life. Yeah. So she knows how to go through the hoops and jump through hoops and problem solve that like not. Yes, there are people who don't go to school like me. I went to school and then I dropped out because I'm going to keep paying. Long story short, I just learned how to problem solve. That's one of the best things as far as becoming successful in any industry. And I think some people just have that and some people don't. But people who go to school, like you're forced to learn how to problem solve. So there is one benefit to that. And like, time manage. And I mean, sh yeah. Because she's good. Like You need school to manage time? No, but it teaches you how to time manage. School does. Okay. You got to remember this. To you got to remember this. Not all people are like you and I when it comes to that. I'm not special? All yeah, you're special. Thanks, Brad. No, yeah, I mean he is. That. He, he was are. talking about it before this. It, not all people are like, like some people have to learn. Okay, this is how I move in this process. This is how I go through this problem solving like issue. Like some people are just not as adept at that, and they need someone to teach them and show them, or like have them like jump, learn to jump through the hoops and how to jump through the hoops. It's just very '90s of you to be like, I need to go to school. It's experience is the best education. Trying and failing is the best. I learning agree, process. but it's not. It's not like I'm just sitting in my room only doing school. I'm doing this as well. I'm getting the experience and the degree, the degree I might use in the future. It's the backup plan. It's a plan B for me. Hmm. It's backup just to have under my belt in case ever needed. So when is uh, starting a family? Is that plan C? No, that's 
I want to start a family. What? Which? Where is that? A lot of women, it's you know, Plan A, Plan B. So you have YouTube, Plan A, business, Plan B. Plan. When is when do kids come in the picture? What are you saying? That's something that can be inserted whenever the right person is met. Mm. It's not like I'm opposed to like oh. Man, if I meet the right person, I would love to build a family with them and live a life with them while working. Hey, are you shooting your shot right now? Why don't you put that at plan C? (coughs) Let's put family to plan A. (laughs) Me, you, Sarah. Me, you, Sarah? (laughs) Me and you. Me, you, Sarah? Yeah, what? No, no, not you. Wait, you I said me like? and you, Sarah. I didn't. I'm me, not, you, no, Sarah. No, what the? Uh, not anymore, Brad. Okay. I'm saying me and you, Sarah. <laughs> okay, that was Taco. good. <laughs> oh, no. You're disrespecting me. Can you apologize? Uh, oh, yeah, right? You're a victim mentality. It's fine. It's cool. Uh, he's right about that. We 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 f- with him. But it's okay, though. Yeah, I know. Dude, you're f- you know? Yeah. Sensitive. Right. Yeah, I have estrogen. Well, he does too. It's just he has a lot. Of I have, oh, okay. I have a lot. You have a lot. Yeah. Less. I know, I know, that's true. We all I've, do. It's a lot less. But you know, I'm gonna get it under control and get some estrogen blockers. No, don't get es- don't get estrogen. Huh? Don't do that. <laughs> Definitely <laughs> don't do that. Don't do that. That's, don't don't modulate your hormones though. Not a good idea. Not as a woman. No. Yeah, well, I'm asking. Why don't you prioritize having a family and finding a husband instead of all this career stuff? Okay, sure. How can I do that right now? Tell me, like, what steps would I need to take to do that? Cook for me. See, no, bro, <laughs> this so dude is so good. He's funny. I'm not opposed to that. Whenever, whenever I have a conversation with anyone, oh, it sounds I'm, like you are opposed to that. I'm not opposed to. Oh, that. really? You're not opposed to cooking? No, I'm not opposed to cooking. Uh-huh. Wait, why are you saying she's opposed to cooking? Because it sounds like you wanted a partner who's going to cook for you. No, but she stopped. She 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 went back. She you walked went back. back okay. On. Yeah, so why don't you start looking for that? You know, like, you, okay, you could start wearing a flowery dress and walk it through a farmer's market and find your husband. Okay, but of, do you not realize that's totally subjective? I understand you don't like muscles on women. You don't like all of these things. You want a feminine girl that, you are, you are that bakes cookies. That bakes cookies, that right. bakes cookies and is all ha, 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 airheaded and shit. I get no, that's not what, airheaded. Bro, come not, on. Not airheaded. You're pa- I'm not airheaded now. Whatever. But I'm saying I understand. What are you trying to say? What I that? love when she goes. Yo, oh, yo, love- yo. She just did the fucking period face too. It's okay. Oh. I understand that, but that is subjective. Like no, me keep not wear- harder. Come on, me not wearing a dress doesn't mean that there's not going to be someone that wouldn't want to wife me because I'm not wearing a fucking dress. Okay, but what steps are you taking to find a husband? Well, I don't. That's a hard question. I'm saying wherever I go, any conversation I have with anyone new, I'm open minded to them to see if we have similar morals, like anything that aligns. Mm. Whenever I have a conversation with anyone and I'm constantly like not drinking, she doesn't drink. I don't drink alcohol. I, I go out and I'm totally sober. I'm in the right headspace, but like, I'm not going to find my husband at a bar at a club. Mm. But I mean, at the gym, I talk to people. I mean, it's just how else, like, how else do you want me to go about it? That's what I'm asking you. I'm open to it. Just tell me like what, like, sure. I can go to the farmer's market. I mean, I go to the grocery store. Maybe I'll find him there. Okay. Where do you think the best place to find like someone to take serious would be? A podcast studio. <laughs> Yo, stop, bro. No, I, think, sh- I think I'm going to go to like the UCLA library. Maybe I'll find yeah. someone there. In the Their engineer. shots are crazy. You're going to go to college? <sighs> Maybe graduate school, medical school. You're going to marry a grad student instead of a seven-figure entrepreneur. Yo, <laughs> oh, Jesus, dude. Six foot two, number one on Rumble. Wow. No, you, Sexy, are a great, you are a great funny. person, and I'm, I hope you find someone equally great. I did. No, I'm not. You, you need to find someone better. I'm not... You deserve better than me. Oh, oh, Whoa. yo, that's that's that the classic hit, that hit right there. That's classic. You, that's cla- you heard that before? That's classic. No, I haven't heard that. I'm just saying that's a classic response. Mm. You know, like you, you know? do, you can do better than me. I'm Ooh. too like Ooh. masculine. I'm all this stuff. Like no, yeah. but you can. You I can, can do better. You. I can. I can program that's her. Classic I, can, too. I, I can't program. I mean, that's classic uh, too. you should be programmed by your husband. It's classic, to a degree for sure. Yeah, hundred percent. To a degree. Yeah. 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 Do you know like the stats around getting pregnant with abs? With abs? I heard people were saying that like the risk of pregnancy is No, like, my I still get my period very like on you on bleeding. track. Okay. Huh? You like bleed. no, everything is right. I get my hormones checked, I get blood level done. My abs are just genetically I don't hold body fat in my abs. I I'm not like sickly. It's not like my body fat is Dude, I got to see your chat right now. Sorry. This is It's not like my body fat is I understand what you're saying. I know what you're talking about but i didn't know any of that i just saw that like when you you've been getting people, cooked on twitter by like conservative women they're saying that oh my, yeah that she's disgusting this is interesting a lot of people that i know too and it's i'm like, like shut the fuck up you and your one-year-old child sorry had to bring the child Whoa, into it shit. no but she looks like a 
fucking thumb. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Oh man. Oh man. So wait, wait. They're they're talking because like oh, okay. they're like this girl's disgusting yeah, muscles, I, muscles, and you started yeah. it. That's what I'm saying. Is you started it? Yeah. You you you, you started like this. it. You and they're like, the and they're like, oh yes, Nico's right. You loved it the up. Bitch follows you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The bitch. She's the a woman, nice girl. The woman. She's a nice girl. She's, she's, you know, she's like pregnant. She's got all these hormones. Women are competitive. You know, they yeah. see other girls. They get like. But I'm saying, what happened to like? I see girls with like love, positivity, growth in their bios, and then they're like, this bitch is disgusting. <laughs> I'm like, what about what happened to love, positivity, and growth? Uh, well, women are just bad people. You that's, know. But that's what I'm getting back to is I'm not even that big. There's there's women that are huge that. It's subjective. I don't find that attractive, but I'm not that big. Mm. I'm fit. How are people going to call Sam Frank fat and then call me too manly? Like, is there a between of us? Is there something called the internet? I know. People <laughs> I talk. Know. Sorry. Like, what, see how you're hyper fixating on the negative comments? You, Sarah gets overwhelmingly positive comments, but the only thing that influencers can think about ever all we think about is the negative comments. Just the life. only thing. I, so all bad. positivity just immediately flies Bro. over our head like missiles in Gaza. We don't even know how to register it. That's just life, though. I always fixate on the negative. You shouldn't, though. I know. It's not but life. Uh, that's, that's a bad You choice. do the same thing. No, I don't. I fixate on the... You know how much negative I get all the time? Yeah, I know. All the time. But I don't know. You're right. You're right, Sneeko. You're right, Brad. Yeah, think about, the, think about the good ones. There are good... Yeah, there are good ones. Dude, your Thank chats you. are really sweet, man. Is it? Are yeah. they saying nice things? Super nice. Everyone things. W Sarah right now because they're she's saying a, W a yeah. girl with emotions. And they said Sam is fat though. It's <laughs> kind of mean. Well, she's not though. That's what a W drunk Brad raging. Oh, he's not know. drunk. How drunk, drunk are you right now? He's not, not drunk. at all. I don't drink, man. Brad, stop being scared to converse. Okay, well, see, this is good. See, see how much better streaming is than podcasts. We could talk about that. How is it better? It is. It's way it's better different because we get engaged in real time with real people. No, no, I'm not listening. And see, so you, like you're gonna edit up a podcast and make yourself look good and put the no, little no. brand deals for like shaving stuff in the middle. You know, yeah. Like, I mean, that's a, that's a part of the game. It is part right? of the game. But yeah. you know, I'm just salty. I never get any. But yeah, <laughs> you're mad, dude. That's part of your brand is being yeah, know, mad at everyone else. I know. What then I get oppressed people for not having opinions because I don't get brand deals. But yeah, what the hell? Yeah, it's kind of interesting. I know. I like that. I know. No, you know, I yeah, want free to. Speech is dope, man. I ahead. want to. I want to set up a live, the live stream stuff. You like your favorite guy is really good at that. My favorite guy, Ethan. Ethan Klein. Who? Your favorite guy? Are these all like these old washed up info. I don't. I love how you I, don't. They, they're all. They no, genuinely like. I put them all in the same category. Like, you know just what's funny? Hating boomers. Like I don't care. You know. Four oh. months ago. <laughs> Wait, three, I did four not mean ago. to diss anyone. <laughs> no, you didn't diss anyone. Who did you diss? What do you mean? You just called her a bitch. And Who? Said, your daughter. Oh, oh her, I don't care about her. I mean, I didn't mean to diss anyone that you have personal relations with. Did you? I don't know. What okay. I, you know what I, I find interesting, though? What? Now we don't. Now you don't talk about him. But like a couple months ago, you used to talk about him all the time. Yeah, because I don't need to anymore. They clapped. I remember that dude that you had on your podcast. You had the ops here. They're not even an op. He's just an irrelevant fat whatever. He said he got up and clapped at this whole studio when I got banned. Yeah, I know. That's not ago. cool. That was, I was yeah, that's, that was Ethan D. Klein, H3HG. Got up with this whole studio just like this. Imagine everybody in this room got up and did a round of applause because I lost my life. Yeah, it's not Because cool. I yeah, lost my correct. life's that's work. They clapped and I'm still here, pussy. I'm this still is, here. Do you know how good that feels? That's why, wait, let me put on my glass. Can I, uh, let me yeah. be him again. Where let me be him again. Put, put that on Please. and send a message. All man. of them, all these people. You thought that I was gone. <laughs> you thought that everything was done here and I'm there. still here. Yeah. I'm still here, KSI. <laughs> Stinker, I'm still here. You're did, all still talking about me. Did, did KSI think you were going to be done? Did he? They all did. They all wanted me. They said like, oh, he had a good run, blah blah blah. But look, he couldn't shut his mouth up. And they did. I told you so. They would message me. I told you so. You should have sold out like me and sat on the fence for years. No, man. I'm, did they really say I told you so? Yes. Mm. Lot, yeah, they all, they all had this "I told you so" attitude, and I'm, I, you can never forget stuff like that. No, I, I remember they it. made fun of me when I went over to Rumble because, like, it took a while to build up my audience again. I started off by getting like three to five thousand views on a video. I saw, yeah. It was now, brutal. Now you have three to five waiting in the waiting room. No. In the waiting room for when you're about to start. No. Three to five. Three to five k. Oh, oh, before, before you oh, even five, start. I think I meant three to five people. I was like, oh, you no. missed me again. No, three to five thousand. I meant oh, three yeah. to five k, like waiting. That's how now. many views I yeah. used to get, like on a video Total, that I would post, yes. and then they would, they would, they laughed at it, and it was difficult. It was like an alt right platform at the start, yeah. and now Rumble's the, the biggest free speech website on the internet, and they're they're, they're saying strong for people. Oh, so speaking of this, love what happened with Kick? Did they come out with new guidelines? They they put out a hate speech guideline, said you can't hate speech. But in my opinion, I don't think they're going to enforce it. I think they're just saying that because they're getting people like on the about 
you know, the stream snipers. I don't think they're actually going to force it. And I, I'm not on kick, so I don't have any reason to defend them. I'm just being honest. Like, I, I, they put out the statement. I, I, don't, I don't think you guys have to worry about that. But Rumble is the place that actually does stand on free speech. I want your opinion on it because I was talking to Chris from Rumble. Shout out to Chris. How do you think? Yeah, shout out to Chris. Very nice guy. Good conversation with him. How do you think Rumble becomes more mainstream? It's going to take more time, yeah. but I think as people start to wake up more, uh, there's a lot of people that don't care about free speech, which really surprised me. A lot of the, the streaming audiences, they don't care at all. They don't want to hear anything political. They, that's not really what interests them. Rumble does have like the MAGA demographic on lock, the conservatives. Yeah. Uh, and then there's like specific creators. I would say like me, for example, like people go to watch the creator, but they're not browsing to that level. But actually Rumble does have four times a bigger user base than Kick. People have this idea that like Kick is bigger because it has a, it has like the Twitch people like that are active in chat. Rumble's four times bigger than Kick uh, as active stats. users. Uh, so how does it become more mainstream? I think it's the more they try to silence people, people start to wake up. The repeated pattern that what is happening to Russell Brand happened to Andrew Tate. What happened to Trump? What happened to? Anytime you're against the agenda, every time you speak up against like things like the the can I say on YouTube? Are we just gonna be on YouTube? Anytime yeah. you speak up against. The or you speak out against what they're trying to push to keep you controlled, they will go and try to destroy your character. And if you're a straight man that's like having some victims from 10, 15 years ago, they all come at once and they go and try to, it's, gonna, it's probably gonna happen to me. Like have you seen the rate that I'm growing out now? Sarah's gonna be like on BBC in 10 years saying that I grabbed her by the pussy. It's, it's, it's like- it, Well, she already said that on the podcast. I know, it, it, and then like I'm gonna be like having to sign R. It's, it's gonna be bad. But when people start to realize that that's like happened to Julian Assange, it happens to every single person who speaks out against the control mechanisms. So when people start to like get used to that, um, they're not going to buy it anymore. It becomes mainstream. I, what I'm trying to ask you about though, is like beyond the political sphere of thing conversation, how do you think? Cause I agree. Like there are going to be platforms like this that are going to continue to be like more prominent where people are speaking about these sort of issues. But my question is how, are, how do you think they get all everyone else on the platform? That's not, going at it in that direction or coming from it in like this, like uh, the, the political sphere. By bringing on creators, different creators, different types of creators, I think, yeah. and then converting but, their audience. So you're right, you're right, I'm saying, but so do you think that Rumble will have a harder time doing that because it's positioned itself so much as mm. like a political I conversation it's positioned itself like that, it's just- an, that's It just, has, it definitely did from the beginning, that's yeah, what it did. did. I, well, that's just, that's what it is. I'm not saying that's what it has to be forever. I'm just saying like the more people need truth, the more a site like Rumble rises to the top, the more the stock goes up because people need truth. Do you think long-term that people, that these platforms were, because like remember at the time, uh, what, what was happening? It must have been, it was probably the pride thing or the lgbtq thing but like people were all posting these like the rainbows and all this stuff and then there was companies that were removing it in certain areas like they weren't posting like they're they weren't posting that places so i'm saying is do you think at some point people will, like these big companies will come back to like okay let's just be neutral because we're a platform we shouldn't necessarily be and rumble like is neutral like rumble is a neutral platform i know i, I hear it's not saying. conservative like i don't want you guys to think that rumble's not right wing at all so that's just what happens that most of right-wing people get silence rumble like i disagree with chris about a lot he has a lot of creators that disagree with him i know personally like we will have conversations but he's like i will still be able to platform you because we need to have discourse you're right so i'm asking you do you think at some point if rumble or platforms like that that are just creating this sort of like you said this discourse like are they going to other big platforms come back around and follow suit and be more neutral again they're kind of trying to see the Twitch CEO said that he's unbanning creators that messed up a year that. ago. Yeah, they're going to try to dial it back once their, their stock goes down and once their viewer base goes down, they're trying to loosen up the... But we'll see. Once you go that far, it's hard to really bring it back because then like all the, the lefties and the people that are cheering on the pronouns, they're going to get upset when you, when you dial it back and they're going to say you're spreading misinformation. They're going to lose advertisers. They're gonna, their score is going to go down. So I, I think it's harder to dial it back I, I don't think that's going to happen. I think Rumble's just going to... I'm investing in Rumble. Fair. You should come, man. I talked to Chris about it. I mean, I talked to Chris. Come, Sarah. I talked to Chris, too. Yeah. You did. Let's see what they're saying. Chris Sorry. Matters. Do you think I'd be good streaming? I think you would be, yeah. Well, that's why he's... What do you mean? Oh, I don't know. That's why he begs you, remember? Oh. I, that's what I don't saying. beg you. <laughs> Sorry. I got on my knees and woofed at her. Come on. I saw that. You said you woofed at her in the chat. Yeah, oh, you no. did woof at me. <laughs> Woof. He did. He did woof. He did. Okay. But it was like in a text. It wasn't audible. Right, right, right. If it was audible, I'd play it right now. Yeah. yeah. Look at you. Look at you. Okay. Uh, yeah, you should come. definitely come to Rumble, but it's going to be hard to stream by yourself, I think. 
No, but I wouldn't be by myself. Maybe I'd. You already got Steve. True, true. Who am I supposed to have? Bryce? Me. You scare me. We're a good team. We We undeniably have really good chemistry. Everybody won't shut the f*** up about that. Yeah, but I tend to have good chemistry with most of the people that I work, that I do stuff with. Brad, great chemistry. Steiny, great chemistry. You, great chemistry. Bryce, Whose great clips have won crazier? Like out of all the collabs. I agree. No, I agree. Where, I agree. Where, like it's been, it's, it's, it's insane. But I always try to like acclimate with the person it's also, that I'm with. I mean, it's also, yeah, me too. it's also the thing that you've built though too on the back end, as far as the clipping and that, that community. That's, That's, That's the thing that also like puts a lot of fire. Well, to I'm it. saying I wouldn't be able to have a podcast with Sarah. Like it'd be too, I would just be too uncomfortable she'd be too nervous you guys have a great podcast dynamic yeah. i'm saying live streaming like me yeah, and you yeah. got something like it's she got to strike the iron while it's hot it's there it's there but okay we can work something out we can sign some papers get some money over here and i got it chad what do you think do it <laughs> hey chris you know what i'm saying uh, no i'm saying <laughs> uh, hey we can work something out. We can work something hold out. on let me see your chat I got yeah something. what is chat saying uh, I don't Jared think thinks Nico gains more out of their collabs. W delusion. No, no, I don't think I. I didn't mean in the aspect of. She don't think she knows. Mm. Yeah. No, no, no. It's not that. But it's the fact. I meant it in the aspect that I think that I brought more to the table than other women that you've had on your streams. True or false? Wait, you're you're the best. You're saying you're the best guest on my streams. Women, the dynamic you try to form with every woman that you have on stream, I think I formed it the best with you. you know, I've seen a lot, a good of, w, argument. A good seen a lot of W Sarahs here. Yeah, there's, there's a good argument for that. But they're also mad at you for saying that, like, I benefited more than than you. Or also when you said, like, you're, you had more clout and shit like that. They, they got really upset about that. But I, I'm like, I didn't oh, say that I've more. I said you're more you culturally no. relevant than I am. I After, did not. It is what it is. It is, what it is. You, you have more clout than I have clout. Oh. Clip it. Put it everywhere. Yeah. I didn't say that, oh, I have more clout. I said that from our dynamic, you benefited more than I benefited because you had more to gain and I had more to lose. That's true. Well, it's true. It's true. It's Isn't just it? like I was on your streams. I didn't I didn't get I don't get paid by Rumble. You get paid by Rumble. Um, we can work some, we'll, we'll talk about but I'm saying that's what I meant. I'm not saying that I'm more clouded than you. That's not true. Bradley made me. Yeah, I see what she's saying. I see what she's saying. I'm saying that you, from our collaboration, you benefited more than I. Benefited. It's also funny when people, you know, it's funny. I saw her tweet said Bradley made me, and then your your fans go, Sneeko made you. How did you find out about Sarah? Uh, from you. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just saying. So that's a, it's well, a Why are you arguing with people in the low I'm not arguing. Community? I'm not arguing. I'm not arguing. I'm just saying it's an interesting thing how that dynamic works, where it's like people are like, oh, this is. They, they just want to make it a thing. Do you ever? Do you ever like? Sometimes do you think that I don't want to say you have too much power, but um, do you think you're always right in the way that you're like leading your audience? Do you think you ever fuck up? You think you ever make mistakes? He knows he does. Where did I make a mistake? Dude, I think when it comes down to it, I think one of your biggest mistakes thus far and within the few weeks of knowing you was saying L porn, saying this is all bad, don't subscribe, but still your actions lead to having them on the camera. If you genuinely stand by those things, don't have them on the camera. I mean, at the same time, having you on camera, you don't think people are off to you? That's different. I, it's not a funnel of money that people can pay for my pictures of me in lingerie and on a bed. Yeah, but you're also spending your time. And time is a currency as well. If they're spending their time lurking on your page, you're also spending. Like every single second you spend is pretty much a currency. It's one you're of the most totally valuable You're totally dodging. Currencies. I'm not I'm dodging. Saying, I'm saying like you could also make an argument like in Islam, we shouldn't even be like free mixing, they call it. Like I shouldn't even be talking yeah. in a room with you. I should just be talking to men. Like you should be in the kitchen or you should just be with that, That's what it is. You should be raising the children right now. And like if you want to go completely whole all, you wouldn't be here. So you they you can make an argument that like people are off and they're getting weird thoughts just for the fact that we're interacting. And you're not my wife. So, you know, it's just how far down the rabbit hole do you want to go? It, exactly. How far down the rabbit hole do you want to go? Why you just asked? Did you even know? Like, <laughs> <laughs> you know no, I like <laughs> what was no, that? That's exactly what I was getting at. That at some point you have to draw a line. Yeah. Yeah. True. True. That's the only thing that I think that in the past two weeks. Was yeah, I probably should have done the hot tub. You keep saying hot tub, but I'm ta I'm not talking about hot tub. I'm talking about everything that whole situation in general. You want to fixate because they were in swimsuits. Yeah, but I think I think we could still talk to them. Like for there's some things in, in content. Then why stream it? Talk to them if you care about if you want to. I'm not going to talk to.
It's all for free. The fuck? Okay, see, that's what I'm getting. Okay. okay. So then it's money I'm, driven. It's and and not ethic and moral driven. Hey, yeah, this this is at the end of the day, this is it's both. It's my job. You can believe in something, but also I make money from this. You know, you're, you're, it's going to be. There's a lot of hypocrisy on here. <laughs> yeah, it is what it is, man. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. I love it. That's the real. Sh you know what I'm saying? Like, or, you know, you know. L porn, everybody. Come on. No, L, I, I think I L porn for sure. I completely agree. Should I be honest? Type of one if you off to Sarah. Whoa. That's what I. Oh, that's. That's bad. That's disgusting. That, I'm just, we're being honest. This is this podcast. We got to get to the truth. Yeah, but you know I'm not trying to myself and that's you just said like hey he's asking a followers question. who's just i'm just i'm just asking a genuine question i, want, I hope they're please type two if i see a one then oh wow there's they're is trolling. it one or two they're trolling yeah is one the is one the one, one is they do there's a lot of, there's a lot of ones good stuff twos Yo, the guys that type of one are crazy. Yo, so mod, someone screen record and like hold them all accountable yes yeah <laughs> make her cry nah i don't want to make her cry I can make Sneeko cry right now. No, you can't. Chinko okay. typed a one? I think I can make him cry too. Yeah, you could make him cry. Make me cry. We could both make him cry. Go, press me. I won't do nah. it. I would never go there, dude. What the? You're acting like you have that in your back pocket. I would never go there with you. Okay. Make me cry, Sarah. Make Brad cry? No, make me Are cry. You, that's not hard to make me yeah. cry, dude. <laughs> you cry all the time. I'm a pussy. That's mad. What did I say? No, we can make him cry. We could easily you make him cry. tease it. I'm not going to tease it. Tease it. I'm not. We hugged. We're good now. Hmm. I'm really thirsty. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really out. thirsty. Okay. <laughs> Maybe I'll get a drink. Drunk Brad at 130. Mm -hmm. We should do a lie detector, Sarah. Oh, yeah, we should. You want to? Yes, I do. Okay. I'm yeah. down. Yeah. What? Yeah. Chat, lie you detector with Sarah? First. You have to go first and we'll get to cooking. Yeah. I can think of some questions for you. Oh, what me too. Fuck? I like how he goes, what the <laughs> f Yeah. Okay, fine, fine. Yeah, <laughs> you I, know the do it? I know the oh, first question it. I'm I'll asking. I know the first, the one that you guys all want to hear. But I'll book fine. it today. It's what cool. is it's the good. first question? It's cool, it's cool. What is What's it? the first question? Uh, which position did you guys start in? But I want to. Start in what? <laughs> Wait, start in what? That's the first question I'm asking. Dude, that's funny. Yeah. Damn. I've got a few I could ask him. Yeah, yeah it's gonna be good. Okay, you're building up. You're building what up. is this? Yeah, no, actually, I'm okay, excited. Okay, should the... I book it right yeah, now? Book it, book it. Let's Sneeko's do it. going first. We should do it. Thanks okay. for the five. Um, any unnecessary combo between a man and a woman is haram, and the money a person makes from having them on stream is also haram, brother. True, but I, I donate money to the the One Message Foundation. Do you really? Yeah, I donate money to the the One Message Foundation. That's uh, do you? It's actually um, this clothes right here. Do you like? How do you? Do you show them that, or you just say that? No, I don't really. This is the first time I've said it. Okay. First time I said it, which I, some people could even argue that it, there's, it's haram money, be like depending on how you make it. But then uh, you can say like, where did I get this money? Most of my money's halal, so you know, like you could even say that this is haram money that I'm making money talking to you, free mixing right now because like any man and woman conversing, I'm not even supposed to shake your hand. Let alone in crotch, Islam, like crotch yeah, back you can't shake the hand of a woman that's not your wife. Okay, but that's what I'm saying is eventually you have to draw a line somewhere. Then, if that's the case, shaking the hand of a woman. Then why do you say or do something? Well, of the what I'm saying is like I should just draw the line where Islam draws the line. Oh, okay. But I'm saying I'm actively like when you are get in this game, there's going to be haram. I money, agree. Regardless. I agree. Like if you want to do it successfully, I'm so, like I'm not an Islamic scholar. I'm not perfect. I'm still new to this. I'm gonna make mistakes, and I, I'm acknowledging I'm not perfect, right? But all I can do is like try to do my best and like correct my decisions. I think, but that goes back to your question earlier. Where do I draw the line? It should be idealistically where the Quran draws the line. That's that makes the most sense. I'm not going to make up any moralities for my myself because like, humans are imperfect. We're never going to we're never going to know really right from wrong. Um, but we can only trust God. Yeah. So I got to I got to like even um, if people if Muslims drink or like they shouldn't promote it, like they shouldn't promote gambling. They, they shouldn't promote anything that they that they know is actively bad. So, but we're, you know, we make mistakes. We're working on it. I'm working, man. Yeah. I'm working. Better. But no, no person is no, no Muslim is perfect. But Islam is perfect. Damn. This is, this I'm cooking, right? Like, I'm You're doing cooking. well. You're They're getting quiet. For, there's two hosts right now, and I feel like I'm leading this. No, no, What's no. This is my podcast now. So what no. do you think your message is to your audience? My message to my audience is that they should not believe a lot of what they're pushing, that they should be free thinking, that they should provide for their family. They Wait, should they be should the best they could possibly be. Believe not what? 
a lot of the the agenda that's being pushed right now. Got, okay. Like they should be, they should think for themselves. They shouldn't be afraid to speak their mind. They should go to the gym every single day. They shouldn't watch. They should make a lot of money. They should do. They should be respectful, and also laugh. Like it's good to laugh. I my my motto is seek truth through funny. I think the funniest thing is usually the truest thing. That's your bio somewhere. It is. That's 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 my motto. That's like the whole thing behind my stream. Like it, what's funny is what's true. They, they, that's why they say it's funny because it's true. Because that guttural laugh that you have is like is getting rid of that. It's getting rid of the. And when you can get past that, you get to truth, and you need truth to survive. Bro, I want to get you and Ethan on the same podcast so bad. Do it this week. So bad. Do I it. don't think he, he was hard to get him out to just come to do mine. What about Hassan? Both you guys on the same pod. I think like you, Hassan, Mike, and Ethan, dude. Would you think we could even have a conversation? No, I think it'd be overpowering. Chad, what do you think? What do you think? Overpowerment. Uh, would you sit down and do that? I would. I think so, yeah. But I'm trying to remember all the things that they've they've said, and it's even worth like, do they deserve my time? Like I'm I'm up right now, you know what I'm saying? Like do do they deserve my clout? Do they deserve my presence? Should I even like even the fact that you're saying their name in my room? Like do, do they deserve to be? Do they deserve my energy after everything they've done? You know? I have that, a, but that's why it would be interesting. That's why I think it would be interesting, because you've because you've grown, you've learned a lot. Like I think, you know, even as you continue to grow, I think you've also even ironically saying this, but you've gotten more humble, I'd say based on the content that I've watched of you and how you've kind of shifted like from this, you know, you, you did that video where you're like, okay, this red pill community, this is, the, I'm going to start focusing on this kind of stuff. And you kind of like, I wouldn't say moved away from it, but you started to, I'd say open up with more, I don't know, more outside thoughts and more, more accepting of like what else other people are saying. I think you've done a lot of that. That's why I think the conversation would be good. And also you coming from a different perspective now, in talking about like your past with them. I just think it'd be interesting. Yeah. It's, it'd be interesting, but like you think about it from my perspective, these people tried to ruin my life. Yeah. But that's why it'd be interesting. You know, these people genuinely like, because the fact that you sit here in, in, in resistance, not, not that you wouldn't do it. I know that you would do it if you give an opportunity. And if I was like, Oh, let's do it. You do it. I don't think you're afraid, but because you have some resistance to it is the reason why I think it would be interesting because you still feel, you still feel that type of like, yo, because you've come up, even having the idea of like, do they deserve this? That's why I think it'd be an interesting conversation. Cause you're in a different place and you've grown, you continue to grow. I just think it'd be cool to see like how that conversation would go down. If like it could happen without people just trying to argue with each I other. I feel like that won't end well. You don't think so? I think it'd end up Do you with... know who Ethan is? Oh my God, I used to watch him and Trisha Paytas all the time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I used to watch his OG stuff. Like there's even a video of me when I was 25 years ago wearing his merch. Because I, I grew up watching these people. Yeah. A lot of the people that celebrated, that's like why. Yeah, pause. But that's why I it's did... so interesting. Even KSI, there's a picture of me back when I was 14. I went to like a, a meet and greet. I took a picture with him. Dude, I did not know that he worked for Mr. Beast. Yeah, I knew that. I haven't even talked to him about it. Uh, but that's why I, I find it. I find the conversation would be so cool. I think it'd be dope as fuck. I know you don't necessarily Let him want... sleep on it. Let him get yeah, back yeah. to you No, he, I, he would do it. He's not... You know, no, but at the same time, I understand if you feel disrespected, you don't even want to be in the same room as someone. Nah, but how you really, really prove that you rose and above it is by being able to do that straight up, even if it wasn't on camera. I would just like to be in the room in that conversation because I know you feel a type of way about it. I forgive him. <laughs> I love that. I only have love in my heart. Damn. Wow. Look at this guy. He's different now. I, just, I, I love everybody, man. I spread love Let's speech. Let's go. I love Israel. love Palestine. love everybody. I love it, man. That's, I hope that gets clipped up because I know it's they're not going up. to. Yeah, that, it's, like, <laughs> it's like, it's it never, never that does. stuff. It never does. See, what well, they try to say, like, I'm programming the youth to be stuff, but they don't say that every single stream I say, like, I love you guys. Follow God. Be safe. Like, all this good stuff. Go to the gym. Spread love, love speech. My community is called Love Speech. They never talk about that. They're only going to... I mean, why would they? They're only going to clip out the things to negative to try to... Sorry. No. To that's, try to ruin That's everything. how the fucking internet works. It's so stupid, man. The, the negative shit That's what I was just saying. You fixate on the negative. People fixate on the negative. I fucking look at the negative. That's what I'm I saying. I don't. I don't give a fuck anymore, man. You really don't? <laughs> I only speak on what I can speak on, man, from, from my own perspective. I feel like that's like all my content and the success that I've had with this because it's just me talking about things that I've actually been through. That's why it's so hard when I talk about these other things you want to talk and discuss. I'm like, I can't. I can understand there's no good in killing. There's no good in murdering. There's no good in, like, destruction in that manner. Wait, let's go. Let's go eat. Let's go. What? Train. You want to go eat? We're trying to end already? We did, Sarah, we just hugged it out. What the f***? We did. Okay, sorry. Why are you trying to end it? I have to pee again. Why are you mean to post it? Go pee. Okay, can I?
Yeah, go for it. You're good. It's your Nico love Satan. Um, what the? That's what chat's saying. Random. Chat, not true. Uh, well, I do love everybody. You love Satan? I don't know if I love Satan. I don't think you love Satan, dude. I don't think that's... Not a big fan of him. Good job, you're learning. Hey. For Snapchat, yeah. Thank you. Where are you going? Walking. Okay. I'll miss you. You're so funny, Hate dude. to see you leave. Love to see you walk away. See, that's what you can't do. That's what she don't like. Yeah, what? Offensive. You're smiling, though. I told you I will find you another woman. <laughs> I literally told you. I love when you're so mad. You're so cute when you're Bradley, mad. Fix him. I can't fix him, dude. He gets it. It's yeah. funny. You can't fix him. You can't fix him. Oh, Sarah. I'll be you just got to know what it is. You Come know what soon. it is. Yeah, but what else do I do? You, you have to, you either decide to go like head first or like, you know. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead first. God damn it, dude. What? I agree with you. So I just have to remove myself from the situation. Or head first. Head right? first. Head, I'm trying to draw lines, but head like, he's like, the lines. Yeah, see, he keeps doing it. Yeah, he keeps doing it. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. so sometimes you got to remove. No, that wasn't even. That didn't cross. That was crossing lodges, though. Have no, your. I'm saying like keep it very like if we have a good dynamic. Why does it need to be so like I have to go pee? Yeah, because you said head first. Dude. Okay, you did that. Brad, All right. fix him. All right, I'm gonna sniff your chair while you're gone. Can I? That's so weird. What do you think it smells like? Like I don't know. Her... Can I smell it? You're gonna smell her chair. Are you actually going to do that? If you weren't here, I probably would. <laughs> to be dude, honest, you, you have sniffed that. Do you guys ever never. swap? No. Bro, no, dude. Okay. No. Okay, be honest. Be honest. Do you do you really like Sarah? Is yeah, I do. Like? I do. Okay. I do like her. Why what do you, what do you mean? Like in a middle school like way? Like, no, I like, like her? No, I do. Like, I genuinely... Oh, my God. Every time I make a little joke, like, yeah, yes, I like and respect her a lot. Yes. Okay. I do. I don't want to protect her. I just want to make sure she's good. She's sensitive. You just got to know that. I know. Right? She's a girl. Yeah. She's a girl. Of course. Man. You, so you don't have a girl. She's gone. So, well, you know. <laughs> you're such. Fuck, dude. You're funny, man. No. She's not. Fuck, he's funny. It's, it's, you know how it goes, Brad. Come God on, man. Damn. You got to have a. <laughs> you got to have a options. Well, okay, I guess the question is, would you. Would you. Would you give up the other ones? Um, depends on. Uh, it's such a hard question. Yeah, it depends on. You a know, lot. you know. We'll see. You never know. I, you, you always gotta have. Uh, oh, what's happening? You gotta have some some options. You want to connect to the Wi-Fi? You good? Okay. What happened? Oh. Okay. So 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 when do you know then? Let's say Sarah's side, right? You have options. When do you know which one you commit to? Are you just do you do you think you're not going to commit to one? I I think I'm actually really curious about this. This is why I'm so anti because I started watching when I was like nine years old, and I think it's desensitized me. And then I actually even think that the red pill will talk about how girls are ran through and they can't pair bond after they they have too many bodies. I think that men could definitely become ran through too. Like mentally, when, for sure. Like when you, when you sleep with a certain amount of girls, and you've been in like with so many girls, like you can't really pair bond or like fall in love the same way. I think men have one opportunity to fall in love the way that movies portray, but it never works. Like something always happens. Mm -hmm. And then afterwards you kind of become cynical and realistic. You start applying like business etiquette to your relationship. What is going to work for me? How do I have leverage? How do I make sure that this is sustainable? You start bringing in managers and employees. You turn the relationship like a business and it's not even about love anymore. So I think the reason I, I, I'm so against, not just because, you know, it's lowers your testosterone and all this stuff, but I was watching when I was like nine, 10 years old and just like, bro, I was going, I was going ham. Sneeko, I completely agree with you. Do you think you've been in love? Of course. Of course, many times. Once or more than once? Many times. Many times. Many times. I'm in love with you. No, like real talk. I'm, I'm in love with you. No, real talk. Have you ever been in love? I have been in love, but it, has, it doesn't compare to what I have with you. But okay, I'm saying... you make everything into a joke. But I'm saying, like, the question Brad is asking is, can I commit to one girl? Yeah. And I don't think oh. I can. Well, I, I want... Sometimes I want to, but it's like my... I'm... Would you be okay being number three? No. Four? No, I would want... It was four worse than three? Though, yeah, I, I would want to only be with one person, I would, and I would want that one person to only be with I me. I want that for us too, Sarah, but... 
No, yeah. I'm not talking about you, Sneeko. I'm saying my future husband. I do not want him to have any other women involved I know. with him. We'll work on that. We'll work no, on that. No, not you. This is what I'm getting it's, at. It's, it's going to be it's going to be difficult to commit to one because I <sighs> You know. That's what she doesn't like, by the way. I'm just letting you know. I know, I know. Yeah. But it's they they don't like it, but they also do like it because no, it's Brad, Brad, it's all this stuff. Brad knows I don't like that. Yeah, she's a yeah. You know, I'm working on it. But so genuinely, do you think all the niceties? Do you think you could ever just be with one? I I think for Sarah, I could. Can you leave me out of this equation? Like, it has to be I, I a mutual thing. Before I met her, I I thought I was going to need four. For a while, but I think Sarah's um, right. That's why you filmed with me, and then right after filmed with other people, right? No, it's content. Right. Okay. It's content. Okay. Imagine I'm on Fresh and Fit, like, but you filmed with me, like, like yeah, there's ten girls here, you know, like. No, no, that's not what I mean. Fresh and Fit is a totally different atmosphere. Atmosphere. I'm saying when you film with women, you always portray it as you trying to get with them. It seems like something intimate with you. I'm not saying you on a podcast with ten women. No, Sarah. I'm saying that's your narrative in every stream. True or false? Oh, Sarah. You say, oh, Sarah, when you know it's true. <laughs> I want to propose right now. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. One day. One, one day, Brad. One day. I'm trying my best. I'm trying my best. It's difficult. It's difficult. Why and is it difficult? Because you care about the content so much? No, it's not about the content. It's um, I like variety. Okay. That makes you know? sense. Like okay. you ever had Chinese food? Fuck, yeah. I love Chinese food. You ever had sushi? I love sushi. You ever had Nigerian food, like uh, jollof rice? Man, it's so good. Fried chicken so from the hard. south. I like, you know, I go to a buffet. I try a little bit of everything. I, I'm the type of guy to put every single country on the plate Bro, because I'm I just want to so hungry. Want to see how it is? Yeah, I'm starving right now. The way you okay. talked about that made me so I hungry. I know, but even that, like, I can't have you know Japanese food every single day. Yeah, like imagine you ordered the same Postmates every day. Every what day. The what the <laughs> Every day. That's what a marriage is. That's Not what, really. That's what monogamy is like Not opening up the app. they can cook different things for you all the time. But it's the same cook. You know, her style is always the same. Even though she's trying to change it up, it's still her style every day. So it's like, <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's like just listening to one artist for the rest of your life. I could listen to Juice World for the rest of my life. I know. that. That's, you, you need that special. Like I could listen to Kanye for, to Ye for the rest of my life. So and you're only, like the, And only Ye? I could, I could. If I, if I had to, like there's sometimes there's one artist where you're like, I could be monogamous to you. Same with Sarah. Like I could monogamy me and you, like it's going to work. You're that special. You're the yay of women to me. Okay, let's go eat. <laughs> she don't like that shit, dude. What? I, I, I just think that's the thing that, yeah. It is what I don't it is. think he'll ever process that. It's all good. It's not it's, all good. It's, wait, so you, like wait, said, you, you, gotta, you just want to be friends? Yes. Special friends? No. No. <laughs> we could be we can have some benefits. No, I don't do the benefits thing. <laughs> it could be beneficial for both of us. Okay, sure, but nothing like Okay, friends with benefits. Perfect. No, what Got the it. Locked. No. You heard it? You gotta be careful. Trichter. Trichter. No, I do not yeah. wanna be anything more than the same way I am with Brad or Jacob or anyone else in this room. Friends. God, dude. You reach, it's funny. We're gonna be good friends. Let's just go eat. I'm going home. No, we'll go eat. We gotta go eat. Right? We're and we're going to the gym. What the? Yeah. Well, we're definitely going to the gym. We're going to the gym and we're eating, Sarah. I'm definitely going okay, to okay. the gym. I'm definitely eating. Are you going? I'm doing both those things. Brad will protect you. Okay, thank you. I'll protect you. I know. I have to call my bodyguard. Brad. I got you. Security. You ready? From the I am ready. All right, we're going to get the Chat, was this a good podcast? Yes or no? How was the audio? Was I think good? it was All right, guys. Great. Thank yeah. you for watching. Give um, them a little please, sign outs, yeah. Yeah. Please like, comment, subscribe. Um, let us know if you want to have any other guests on. Sneeko was a great, great guest. Thank you for taking the time and doing this for us. I'm glad we squashed our beef. And I appreciate you. And yeah. I appreciate you, Brad. YouTube lingo is so funny to hear after. Like, like comment, subscribe. I haven't said that in so Can long. Can you yeah. tell them to like, comment, subscribe? Yeah, do it. Do it like a YouTuber. Please. This, this website? Yeah. yeah, right here. Like, comment, subscribe. Come on, for us, dude. It's come mutually on. beneficial. This is what I'm getting to. Come on, We'd, Come on. Oh, man. Dude, come on. You got this. You got this. I forgive you. No, YouTube. we can't put that in. Can you I just say no, you can like, put that in. Forgive you. That would sign, that would give like, us a good sign off. Like, comment, and subscribe. Smash that notification bell. <laughs> yes. Yes. And Let's go. Let's go. On the next one. Bye. Okay, see you guys Thank next time. Thank you. Bye, guys. Bye.